Get a screwdriver? I would love a screwdriver. But I can't. Why? It's in the middle of the workday, and we're not French. I'm part French. No, you're not. Are you? Yeah. I thought, according to 23andMe... Uh, 23andMe. I bet I had something in my mouth when I was doing the spit take for the 23andMe. And was it, it a little it, American flag? Because yeah, you true. are the most American... Thank you. God bless! I do. I am an American. I, I epitomize greatness. Thank you. I'm glad you said that. Okay, I didn't say that. <laughs> this is the place. Right there. There it is. Remember my story. Okay. A hair salon we're driving by. Yeah, the hair salon, but next to it was the dry cleaner. Oh. Oh. Let's just say a mutual friend of ours gave me a delicious snack. And inside that snack were some properties that I wasn't aware of. Some herbs, if you will. And I ate this thing not knowing what was going on. I need a haircut. So I open the door and I stand there for what felt like 25, 30 seconds. And then my brain tells me, you're at a dry clean. <laughs> and, and I still demanded a nice high so and tight haircut. <laughs> Yes, and wrap it in plastic. <laughs> then I walk next door. I felt every hair that she touched. I could feel it, and it didn't feel good at oh, all. Oh, that's so weird. Yeah. And then I Ubered home. Yes. And as I was Ubering home, the road was going the other way. <laughs> the entire time. That's true. I was like, we're never getting there. We're never getting there, because the road is going that way. And we're trying. And I need to go <laughs> this way. That's absolutely a true story. <laughs> what did your Uber driver say? I don't know because it was a dog. <laughs> <laughs> and I thought, this is awesome. A dog is driving me. <laughs>